a very warm good morning to all my dear students today we will be going to start with our new topic and our topic is persuasive persuasive writing in our previous class we studied about the articles i told you about the definite indefinite along with that when and where is the uh, where is where in the sentence the articles are not used so we read about the zero article as well so today i will be starting uh, with a new topic and the topic name is persuasive writing persuasive that means to persuade to do something now to persuade means to make the people uh, do the things according to what we want him or her to do so that is to persuade here in this persuasive writing also we will be going to read write about uh, an article or any of uh, the essay or any advertisement in which we are talking to the audience or the reader to believe in what we have written so that is what the persuasive writing is all about so here i gave one explanation with the help of this slide that persuasive writing means when we share our opinion with our supporting arguments or our reasons in order to convince others for a particular idea no like i said persuade persuasive or persuasive comes with the from the word persuade or persuasion so as the word itself suggests that we are uh, trying to persuade to convince a person about an idea by make giving uh, some reasons or evidences or trying to um, put an argument in in which we make the people understand with the help of the argument with the debating that um, the topic or the point which we are raising is correct okay so one of the best example which we can see here are newspaper speeches advertisements and essays now let's talk about the newspaper you must have seen many of the articles when the person is reading the newspaper in the article we come across that a person is talking about a particular topic and by his uh, arguments by giving different reasons with the help of the pictures and so on trying to make the people understand to uh, know the authenticity about the story or the event which it, the person has um, has published in his newspaper in the same manner you see the advertisement no Uh, in the advertisement also you must have seen that all the product which is coming on the televisions they are giving their own reasons to convince the customers we are the customers now so they with the help of the advertisement they are trying to convince us that my product is the best no so how they are convincing by giving some of the examples no uh, in one of the uh, best example of uh, persuasive uh, advertisement is the advertisement of the uh, uh, washing powder ghadi hai na pehle istemal karo fir vishwas karo that is and then how they try to make uh, make us understand that what they are speaking about is very true and then they put some of the sauce and all those things on in the on the cloth of a girl and then how the girl is uh, is after in the end of the advertisement she is convincing that you see that i am also having the same product at home and i am also using the thing so what they did they try to persuade us by asking one of the great heroes or the actress to perform in it and once we look at that we did, we just jump to the conclusion that okay amita bachchan is doing that so maybe the there is something good in that very product no so this is how a persuasion is done by either by using the great legends or by giving our reasons that why my product is the best now you got the idea what is persuasive 
writing all about now when we talk about the persuasive writings we are having three different elements when whenever we write the persuasive writing the three different ele elements are divided into uh, into this particular uh, uh, ways like in, on the top as i have written if you see on the on the top i have written introduction like when we write about the uh, essay what we do we give the introduction then we give the body in which we write the merits demerits or uh, the drawbacks of a particular thing and then we jump to the conclusion okay like in the essay writing we do that in the speeches also we give our introduction then we go with the with the body of the topic which is allotted to us and then we jump to the conclusion like nowadays children you are giving me the presentation so in the presentation also you introduce yourself then you speak about the topic and when you speak about the topic you are having your own ways of expressing the idea which is been given uh, as a topic in a form of presentation and then when you conclude then you uh, you sub some of the subscriptions and so on and then you say okay thank you no so in the same manner when we are talking about the persuasive writing the persuasive writing also consists of three elements one is introduction another one is reason and the third one is uh, conclusion now let's come to the first one now when we talk about the introduction as i uh, as i have written here that introduction consists of again sub part is there okay introduction has three part number one is audience or reasons to convince so when we are writing the persuasive writing we are in giving an introduction to whom we are giving the introduction to the audience the one who is wishing to here or the one who is a viewer secondly when we um, talk about the introduction we talk about the issue what is the problem or or any of the of the uh, of the topic which is allotted to us in order to write the persuasive writing so that is the second one in the introduction okay we address to the audience we give the reason in order to convince them then we jump to the issue what is the issue why we are writing the persuasive writing and then the opinion of our so these three things comes in the introduction section now when we go to the next one that is the reasons what we do in the reason so during the time when we are going to express our views in the reasoning uh, section again the reasoning is also divided into three parts one is opinion as i told that audience and reason to convince so here when when we are giving a reason we are giving our own opinion in the in so when in the in the second paragraph when we are trying to convince the audience it is very important that we should give our own opinion so when we are giving our opinion it is to, it to make a person or to persuade a person about your own topic we have to if we are giving an opinion of ours we have to elaborate our point we have to speak that opinion in detail that why why this particular thing is very good why this particular thing is not at all good so if i am in the against of that particular topic or in the motion we uh, argue we in in that manner no uh, like you are having a debate so we argue with that and when we are arguing we give our own opinion about it that why this is good why this is bad then secondly the reason in support if we are supporting it then we give the reason in detail that this product is good why this product is good why this thing is important for us and then we start reasoning reasoning in the sense we are giving on giving a uh, giving the uh, the important points in support of what we are uh, talking about so that is the reasons which we are supporting okay then the third one when we are supporting something it is important that we should always give an example once we give an example finally the person who is listening or reading any of your uh, essays or the or the newspaper once we use support with one beautiful example a person get convinced 
that okay as he is giving the example and really this example really is suitable for the for the very topic then finally he will become convinced with your ideas and once he is becoming convincing uh, convinced with your idea what we did we per, we did, we persuade that person according to our own uh, own um, uh, own views ideas okay and then the last one is our conclusion and when we talk about the conclusion we re, um, remind the 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 readers that why i have written this why this topic is been chosen by me why this uh, why i am in support or i am in against of it then which are the examples so here we remind the reader that okay this is the topic and finally i am in support or i am in against of this okay and the last in the conclusion we ask the reader also for the suggestion so we suggest the readers that you see this is the best one and you have to go with that or this is the best thing you should do this you should not do this so suggest the readers remind the readers these two things are always been there in when with whenever we are writing a conclusion of the persuasive writing understood so what we read today we read about the persuasive writing that means we are sharing our opinion in order to convince the others the person who is reading with our idea then i gave you the example of the persuasive writing that is the news newspapers they are really persuasive advertisement we are observing the television every now and then and we come to know about different products then we talked about the three elements of the persuasive writing that is introduction reason and conclusion okay now let's jump to our section which we have to do today okay now uh, when we talk about your class you will find that we have the persuasive writing here in our book itself so here in this persuasive writing the topic is the diwali holiday starts from tomorrow your teacher wants to give you homework this is what is all about now think and tell give three reasons to convince your teacher not to give you holiday homework try your best to come up with good and logical arguments convince him or her so here we are been asked to write the uh, write the persuasive writing and the topic is that the teacher is wishing to or mostly you know now we have only one day holiday for diwali so if we can twist the question and we can give the question in that manner that if you are having a durga puja holiday during that time if the homework is been given so you are against it and then you cannot say at at first to the teacher no ma'am uh, no homework should be there you have to give the reason that why you don't want the homework during that very time and once you are giving your reason you should try to make the teacher convinced that okay the children's point of view is very very true and really the homework should not be given to them during the puja time okay so this is what the topic is now you can see in this when you share your thoughts to make others agree with something you do it is called the persuasion as i said so you persuade people to agree with you then they have given you the example many writing such as newspaper essays speeches advertisements try different Uh, ways to persuade the reader so they you can see they have shown you in your book it is they have shown you the uh, advertisement about the mattress and then they are talking about this mattress is very cozy and comfortable and if we lie on that particular mattress we can, we will have a wonderful sleep no so you will feel as if you are sleeping on a cloud so this is what how the advertisement advertisement is been made and we as a viewer we uh, agreed with the point of the view, point of view and then finally we purchase those things okay so sleeping late might not be in harmful right now but it will cause damage in the future you will end up always feeling tired if you sleep late but have to wake up early it might lead to you being late as well think about your health and sleep early so that you can wake up refreshed 
so this is some of the content which they have given now um, after watching my video i think i have given you what is persuasive writing what are the elements and you must have understood it so now as a class work page number 74 is your class work where you have to write a persuasive note to your teacher stating why you you should be allowed to delay your bed time by an hour and watch your favorite tv show okay so try to write it down in this period itself okay so all the best take care of yourself may god bless you all take care bye